Hey everybody, I know you've been waiting for me to call you or update you on the pathology report. So my disclosure is that I signed up for Relay Health, which gives you your medical records anytime you get a test done, x-ray done. It's a way to keep all of your medical records in a medical vault. So in case you need it for some reason, it's kind of like a new tech app. So on Saturday, I happened to see the pathology report, and I did see that it said a um, breast carcinoma, and carcinoma means cancer. Um, so I kind of been going downhill since Saturday. Sunday was really, really, really tough, but I just gave it, God, it, God my all, my cry from the bellow of my pits of my stomach. And today I went to the doctor. Um, I went with a whole team of people. So I want to thank everyone that came and was there for me. My husband, Tony. My daughter, Sanaya, was there. Sta Carrie Carter was there. Sta Constance Fleming was there. Rhonda Gatebook was there. My best friend, too. My other best friend, too. Um, Erica Johnson was there. Um, and my mother and my father were there. So there were a whole bunch of us. And um, Dr. San Augustine was like, you want to have everybody in this room? Like, yes, we're going to all here together. And I did meet with him first privately with my husband, let him know that I did see the um, pathology report. I didn't know what it all said, um, but I did know that it did say that I did have a cancer of the breast tissue that was taken and that it's um, an aggressive type. So it was hard. I'm not going to say it wasn't hard. And the way I'm talking right now, it's just God. I mean, these eyes right now, I'm all cried out. I have no more tears. Um, I have no more tears. It's just the songs God's been giving me is, my God is awesome. My life is in your hands. You don't have to worry. You don't have to fear. No matter what comes my way, my life is in your hands. It's in God's hands, and God has never, not from point one, ever shown me where this is going to kill me. God has always shown me promises, and he's a God that cannot lie. I'm standing on that. And I know that I have to go through the valley. I have to go through something. I don't know what that valley experience is going to be, but I thank God for having tremendous support, loving people, being loved, thought about, calls, visit, texts, hugs. I mean, you don't know. I can go to Quick Check and I can get a hug and someone will say, how are you doing? I mean, just those things just matter so much. So the next steps are to look at the mass size. So they, well, first I've got to get a um, PET CT scan. And this right here is going to put radioactive dye through my whole body and take pictures to see if the cancer is spread to anywhere else in my body. And that's done through a radiologist. And then I also get a breast MRI. And the breast MRI, especially women like myself, when you have um, dense breasts, which means they're thick. I have thick boobs. No one's ever denied I have thick boobs. Um, a lot of times a mammogram and an ultrasound can't always detect a cancer until it gets so big. And mine is about five centimeters. But as he said, that until it's um, excised and to, to be moved, he won't know if all of it is cancerous. Um, they do the biopsy takes a portion of it plus a margin. So plus an additional area to look at the surrounding tissue. But it doesn't mean that the whole thing can be cancer. It could be also fibrocystic. It could be a mix of different things. So the team will consist of the um, oncologist, the radiologist, and the surgeon, Dr. San Augustine. So I'm going to make calls right now. Thank you for your thoughts and your prayers. Um, I'm doing okay. Doctor's office, I wasn't doing okay before I saw him. But the peace of God came upon me. Because in that doctor's office, God told me, 
to get down on your knees and you pray and you worship me. And I was on my knees in the doctor's office in the waiting room praying. I didn't care who was around because God's the Alpha and Omega. It's going to be God in the beginning and God in the end, no matter what. And I believe God's words. So you just keep praying for me that this is going to be okay. And that I could be a testimony to other women to go through. And if nothing else, go get your breast examined. And if you have thick, dense breasts like myself, myself require that, that they do an ultrasound as well. And they might do a breast MRI if it runs in your family. So I love you. Thank you for the calls and support. Um, I have my highs and my lows. Some days I'm good and some days not too good. But God is always good. So I don't believe this is the death of me. Um, but this is definitely something I'm going to have to go through. So keep me in your prayers. And I just want to let you guys know what's going on. And that's it. Bye. Till later.